Hello everyone. So firstly, if you can hear some background noise, there's a bit of a storm going on at the moment. So, on to the video. So the T90Ms are dropping like flies lately. In this video I'm going to look at two recent losses. First, this video from outside of Chaz of York, we can see a T90M creeping along. There's a cut in the video, and we see a T90M, presumably the same one, but we can't be certain, abandoned at the side of the road. Next, a drone takes it from behind, causing it to shoot its load immediately. It still lasted longer than one pump Putin does. The fact that the gun was loaded and fires after the drone hit it suggests that the armour was pierced. Here's the geolocation. So this T90M was located here, on the southern outskirts of Chaziv Yar. It was facing northwest when hit. Here it is zoomed out slightly, so you can see it's in west of Bakhmut. On deep states, you can see that this is right on the front line. Russia has been attacking Chaz of Yor for a while, but the offensive has kind of stagnated and ground to a halt. Here's our next video from a couple of days ago, but I thought I'd stick it on here as it's a T90M again. A short but sweet video showing an FPV drone hitting the T90M on the side, causing it to pretty much spontaneously combust. This one, causing a pretty big fire inside. Now both these tanks are abandoned, and this was clearly done to prevent Russia from recovering or repairing them. This one, the geolocation is here, outside of a very small settlement in Donetsk called Solo Viova. On deep states you can see that this is part of the Avdiv Karaxis. This is probably Russia's most successful ongoing offensive. All of these villages and towns you can see scattered north and west of Avdivka were captured this year. So this is an offensive which is still ongoing and where Russia is making progress and is having success. The T-90M is Russia's best tank, so it's always worth having a look at their losses. Although the word best is doing a lot of heavy lifting in the sentence. 93 are up on Oryx so far. It's unknown how many exactly Russia has, as the type is still under production. A modernisation of all the T-90 models is ongoing. With Ukraine saying that Russia produces and modernises on average 15 a month. So, thanks very much for watching this video. Now before we finish, I'm going to play a video from the Ukraine Volunteer Centre about the ongoing fundraiser. Thanks so much for watching, and take care everybody. Good afternoon, greetings from, greetings from the Ukrainian Volunteer Centre. Dear friends and patriots of our country, today we are announcing a new fundraiser. The goal is to raise $9,900 from the $13,000 for a car Renault Duster, for soldiers from the paramedics unit in Donik's direction. 3,000 for two tons of Duracell fuel for the 3rd separate battalion of the Ukrainian Volunteer Army and also 3,900 for helmets model fast and tactical sneakers for aerial reconnaissance in the Parisian direction. The mail on the video is our PayPal address as well as in the description of the channel there are links to crypto wallets. For the biggest donation, we sent a piece of a Su-34 airplane that was shot down in the Chernigov region. Remember, even the smallest donation can make a big difference. Let's support our heroes and show them that the whole world stands with them. Thank you for your generosity, kindness and support. With love from Ukraine.